Hello, everyone. My name is Anthony Barocas of Stream For Us and the Aiba Tech Thoughts YouTube channel. I also write for a streaming media producer. I'm here for US broadcast systems, and today I want to introduce you to the Switchblade M7 system. Now, the M7 is more or less a computer and a control service running special software. And while it's true, you can build your buy your own computer, the M7 is a dedicated turnkey live production system with integrated capture cards and software in the smallest form factor possible. I mean, if you compare this with similar live production systems, you'll find that they cost several times the price of this system. And for that price, you get to pick. Did you want four SDI, four HDMI, what about four NDI inputs? Yep, you pick, same price. These are complete, ready-to-run setups for people looking for features and support. If you want a pre-built and tested kit with a single phone number for support, this system is for you. And you can still configure the system. You're not locked into one thing. You can upgrade the CPU and GPU so that you can easily step up from a system made for HD to a 4K powerhouse. You can even add an additional 4K hardware SDI inputs on the back of the M7. That's in addition to the four SDI, HDMI, or NDI inputs you started with. So yeah, eight physical SDI inputs on this compact mini tower. You can bring in NDI, graphics, remote callers, replay, pan tilt zoom control, stream to multiple destinations, program record, ISO, and it does all of that in this compact and affordable unit. Moreover, because the M7 is, at its core, an open Windows-based computer, it can also run Teams, Skype, WebEx, Zoom, whatever you need. And this makes it easy to integrate your live show right into Teams or Zoom right here on the same machine. Alternatively, you can bring remote guests in from Teams or Zoom right into your production and you don't need multiple machines or expensive hardware to do it. Now, the options are four HDMI inputs, or four input SDI, or four input NDI on the backplane. You can add an additional four SDI inputs to any of these base models. And when you choose NDI, in addition to the ethernet for your internet connection, you get four additional internal power over Ethernet Plus ports. This way, you can plug in your power over Ethernet power devices like an NDI encoder, decoder, Pantel zoom camera, or whatever you have, and plug them right into the M7 for both power and video. The one Ethernet cable using NDI is your video input into the switchblade. It's also audio. It's also Pantel zoom control. It's also Tally. It can be comms. And because of power over Ethernet, it's power for that thing too, all with one wire. Now, there are different tiers of hardware and you can pick the level of vMix you need to do your productions. This way, you're not overpaying for capability that you don't need. But more importantly, if you were to compare this package with a $6,000 TriCaster Mini, which is already 50% more expensive, with the Mini, you can't run other software at the same time as you're switching a live show. You have to do that with other external solutions that add to the cost. On top of that, the TriCaster control surface for the Mini costs $2,500, and it only controls some functions of the TriCaster running for that show. It does nothing else. In this M7 package, you get the M7 powerhouse over here that I've been talking about, and for just $1,300, about half of the cost of the TriCaster control surface when bundled, you get this awesome black RGB illuminated switchblade AirFly control surface. And the AirFly includes a custom software build, so it's ready to go out of the box. Now, while it's configured to work with the M7 and vMix, the AirFly has ready access to over 100 device cores that you can load 
into the AirFly as you need. So it's ready to communicate with all kinds of other hardware from AIDA, Aja, Aur, Atmos, Avonic, BirdDog, Blackmagic, Bolin, Canon, Caspar, QPilot, Data Video, Densitron, Dreamchip, Grass Valley, JVC, Lumens, Marshall, Minray, NewTek, OBS, OSC, Panasonic, PTZ Optics, QSC, Red, Sony, Vario, Zcam, and a bunch more. With more being added all the time, including the recent addition of Lank Control and the addition of KeyBridge to send mouse moves and clicks and even keyboard presses in the actual operating system to control things like PowerPoint and other things remotely. So this is not just a control surface for one video app. This, this is a computer that can directly communicate with all of your production gear, even your computer. You, you can even control multiple devices and multiple applications at the same time from this one control surface, even multiple computers. Switch two shows on two different systems at the same time. You can do audio mixing on this. Every button is color flexible for feedback. And there are displays to provide numeric feedback. And all of these buttons are actually four-way controllers. So you can move a pan tilt zoom head or move audio faders up and down with this one control surface. Now, the Switchblade Airfly is available separately, but packaged together with the M7, it's an unbeatable combination of production power at your fingertips. You can find out more at switchbladesystems.com and these resellers. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.